of the two. Tyler here, Chico Crypto, coming to you guys live. Um, you haven't seen me for a few days, and there's a reason for that. Um, I haven't been feeling the best, no doubt. Um, if you're part of the Chico Crypto Telegram group channel, you know that I am quitting smoking. Um, I have been smoking since I was a little kid, 13, and I was late to develop even in high school, so it was a big part of even my brain's development. Um, quitting is literally, it's hurting me right now, you guys. Um, my anxiety, depression is through the roof, I can't sleep, I can't think, um, yeah. So that's what I've been doing the past few days, is really trying to get through this. <laughs> it fucking sucks. <sighs> but I'm trying. Um, yeah, I mean, it's part of my brain chemistry, you guys. Like, nicotine is built into my brain um, for the dopamine, and my dopamine is gone. Um, it's hard to think. It's hard to talk. It's hard to... Uh, uh, it's rough. So I'm fighting through it. Um, I'm going to do it for my health. So I'm around to hopefully provide content for the longest time possible. Um, as well as, you know, be around for my family and friends. Um, but yeah, so it is pushing my other symptoms. If you've been around the channel, you guys know that I am depressed. Um, I have have series of depression and it's pushing that to the limits right now so if i'm not back after this live stream don't think i'm going away i'm just trying to get myself better and yeah so that is you know why i've been gone um the markets they're taking a crap while i've been gone which sucks i didn't plan for this um it's just how it works out, I mean, I didn't plan to quit smoking when the markets were crashing, but hey, that's what happens. I appreciate all your guys' tips. All right, no problem, man. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate it. Andrew BTC, I appreciate your tip too, guys. Thank you, Larry Bird. It's no, I did the nicotine. I need to quit, you guys. Um, I did the vape pen, and I got addicted to the vape pen extremely bad. Um, but yeah, let's get into the content. So basically, I want to talk about you know the dip, what is happening, and there may be another dip. As I said in that video, if we didn't stay above 50K, it's not good. Um, we are in a bearish scenario. Or my last content, basically. I said if we dip below 50K into you know 40K range and we stay here, it's not bullish whatsoever. We have turned bearish. And luckily, you guys, um, if you haven't followed Uncomplication on YouTube, definitely give him a follow. Um, I'll tag his link in here just so you guys can all give him a follow. Um, he's amazing. He is a literal amazing, um, what he did right here. Because he did a textbook, Wyckoff Distribution Exposed. And this was April 25th he posted this video. So let's just watch. But again, I'm telling you that this has played out exactly uh, to plan. And I'm going to turn on cheat mode now so you can see what that plan has been and understand where we are. And um, what this game is that we're all actually playing. So if I turn on cheat mode here, you can see this overlay. Don't get overwhelmed yet. I'm going to walk you through it. Uh, this move that we have just seen Bitcoin do is a textbook, textbook, almost one-to-one -one perfect textbook example of a Wyckoff distribution event. So, you guys, yeah, he was saying this April 25th, a couple weeks ago, when we were still hanging on to that 50K range. And, you know, 
his timing isn't perfectly you know he said we might be dipping down to forty three thousand by may 6th you know timing aren't going to be perfect you guys but he did you know he said this is you know the next resistance level the forty three thousand. where are we at right now you guys 42 43,000 and we're having a little sideways movement just like Wyckoff said you know the Wyckoff distribution said is we are gonna have a little uh, 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 and then another phase down so I mean I'm not a TA guy as you guys know I'm not a TA guy but I do believe in market manipulation and a Wyckoff is market manipulators they are trying to manipulate the markets to get the most you know bang for their buck um, the whale's buck, or the manipulator's buck. So let's continue what he said. So then, as they continue to manipulate the supply, they actually um, cause fear by bringing the stock from this you know, secondary high all the way down to the show of weakness, or sign of weakness. And so I'm sure a lot of you remember this. This is when it went down to $43,000. Great buying opportunity for those of us that were following. Uh, but that was that show of weakness sign of weakness that forty three thousand dollar price that we hit right here uh in early march late february uh and what that does is it um it it occurs at or slightly below so he goes into the explanation of everything you know but he was talking you know the sign of weakness was the forty three thousand, and we are back at the sign of weakness as of right now we're around forty three thousand dollars so according to you know wyckoff is we are going to go down one more time you know where we are forty three thousand we are going to go down one more time where is that gonna be let's just hear what he had to say ps wise this is where we are now um this is you know today's prices as we've fallen down from the 60 and everyone's saying oh this is just another dip like these other ones it's just another dip we're still going up if you look at how this is engineered and what they're doing um just be advised that it might be a little bit longer until we're going up again uh it's much more likely that we're going down into a larger consolidation that takes months for them to build their next position to make another move up on the market so we have basically, in my opinion, moved into a bearish consolidation phase. We might have another dip. We might consolidate at this 43 around the sign of weakness. And we don't have that phase E, like he is saying. But it's very possible that we do, you know. So where would that be necessarily, you know? Well, you just got to look in the past. I mean, in the past bull run, this was 2017, they had a typical Wyckoff distribution, and it happened around August, September. Um, if you look at the charts, you know, the run-up, we started 2,000. We got up to, you know, 4,000, 5,000 near peak, but then we were settling in. It's just like this. You know, of course, it's not one-to-one, -one, but we got above 50,000. Now we're settling in that range. What happened after, you know, we came right back down to where we started at pre-pump. That was basically the bottom of that dip back in 2017. And then we went full on bullish into November. We had one more dip, but not like a Wyckoff distribution. This was pretty much what he was showing. The same thing happened back in 2017. So if that is, you know, true, we are going to go back down to where this pump started. Where did the pump start at? Well, in between, we got to go back a little bit further. Right here, in between 30 to 40. You know, this is before we went above. So we might crash, you know, back into that range, you guys. It's, it's not out of the realm of possibility. Um, just know that they're trying to manipulate. Um, that is the goal, is they're trying to get people to think it's over because they are going to pull one last hoorah. Like I've been saying, the last hoorah is the push up to 100K. Um, that is the last peak I, I predict of this bull run and it's gonna happen like in the past, I think towards the end of the year. But eh, I mean, I don't know, I'm no Miss Cleo, I, I could be, wrong i could be right 
Hello, hello! Sorry, guys. Um, is it better? I don't know what happened. Hello, hello! Um, yeah, Infinite Machine, I appreciate your tip, man. I'm actually trying to get my new, um, a pup, and it's gonna be here in about two weeks, so I appreciate that, man. Um, I'm trying, you guys. What about my volume? It looks fine to me. Hey, hey! Check one, two. So again, you guys, there may be one more dip. Just, you know, don't necessarily get scared if it happens, you know? Um, I Of course, it sucks to see your portfolio dry up, but in my personal opinion, we are going to have a last two raw and push up for a bull run. Oh, yeah, and this is pretty funny. Um, Ethereum nearing 3,000 soon has a completely different meaning today than it had just last week. You know, we were pushing, you know, Ethereum was under 2,500, pushing towards the 3K mark. Everyone's like, oh, yeah. Now that we're going down, it's like, oh, no. And this all changed within a couple weeks. I think that's hilarious. But looking at Ethereum 2.0 um, ETH1 deposit addresses, basically for Ethereum 2.0, you can see the decentralization. We have 57% of nodes that are others. That's 83,071. This is basically solo stakers. I mean, not all of them. There are some that duplicates. Well, yeah, yeah. But that's good to see. Over 57% is basically solo stakers. While we have Kraken, Binance, Whales, blah, blah, blah. How's the volume, everybody? Oh, it was the video I played with no sound. Oh, I see. Shoot, I'm sorry, guys. Market doesn't just. Oh, man. I see, my brain is so bad, guys, today. I'm sorry. Like, I wish I could put together better content lately it's just my brain is not working oh man where is uh, i can't even think of which audio i need to look for move the market is moved so that the people that are um you know buying or i'm sorry selling people something at a huge markup can then benefit from the so i don't know i just don't want to replay it and just uh i'm a mess guys i'm sorry Oh, thank you, Stephen N. Mark Stewart, thank you so much. Psilocybin could really help, brother. No joke. Take care of yourself. Thanks, man. It, yeah, it's rough. But if you guys do want to, you know, watch it, I did leave the link in the chat. I'll do it one more time just for the new viewers that have jumped in. I love you guys, too. Um, and the content, don't worry. It's going to get better. Um, it's just... The, the smoking is throwing me for a, a loop. Um, but the rocket pool. So if you guys have been holding rocket pool, um, I have for a long time. It's done well, you know, through this bull run. But the launch is imminent. Hey, up 6%. I mean, compared with other tokens, it's doing pretty well with this crash. And that is because the launch is imminent. So I actually might be setting up a rocket pool node so you guys could actually stake with Chico. Um, it's probably going to happen. Um, I don't know when. I mean, not out the gate, especially with how my brain is working right now, but um, it will be coming. Um, I do have a sponsored segment for today's video. Um, if you saw the paid promotion, um, this is the sponsor for today, and this is Curate. And they are creating the gasless NFT marketplace and application um, through their own chain, actually. And it is a fully ERC-20 compatible chain, you know, but it is a gasless chain called the X chain. So the XC-20 is a token standard on the X chain. And if you pay in, you know, the X curate token when buying some of the NFTs, it's completely gasless. But they have made it so 
Ethereum and their blockchain are m molded together so it's pretty seamless within their application. So the application isn't live yet. They are coming live next week and they do, or next month, June, and they do have a preview of the app as well as I think over 1300 buyers and sellers on it right now. Uh, remember guys, Xcure gives you zero gas and uh, can also be used um, in the app to um, upgrade some of your listings if you're selling. Uh, but even if you're not selling, if you're just a buyer and you have Xcure, you can then stake it inside the app and get a really nice yield. So, so as you could see, they are only going for NFTs, you know, within digital art. If you go back a little bit, they are going with digit NFT with, you know, actual closing and stuff too. So pretty exciting to see that. And one thing I do like is they are updating you come every second step of the way with their app, um, app status and changes to the app as they go through and keeping those statuses. So you know when it's coming, you know what's happening. But one thing that's cool too about the NFTs is the stake boosters. So some of the NFTs are going to have boosters, you know, premium is a 1.5 and Gold is a two times stake booster. Platinum is a three times. So you're asking, what do you mean? Stake booster. Well, that isn't in the application. So if you do stake their token, Xcure, you, and you hold one of those NFTs in your wallet, you are going to get a boost through that stake. So pretty cool thing from there. And they are going beyond just, you know, their chain Ethereum. They are going within other blockchains. This was just announced a couple, actually today. Um, DeFi shopping app Curate to integrate e-gold payments and Mint NFTs on the Elrond blockchain. So there will be more blockchains coming. Elrond is one of the first out the gate. But talking about a little altcoin altcoin stuff um synthetics they put out a pretty big blog post called a little dash of hopium and within it they go into what's coming and there are some hints of an airdrop coming within i'm not going to necessarily go through all of it and tell you where they are that is for you to do um but synthetics may be having some airdrops coming for the holders, users of their platform. And then, one of my, you know, top cryptocurrencies out there right now, Alchemist Coin, uh, decided to tweet about Copper. So, Copper is basically a launch pad for projects, and it's going to be a full suite. I don't know how it's going to be work, but... This guy, Omega Fatty, he says, Copper is an ICO IDO platform built around mist. And then this is good to see too, you know, Alchemist Coin, they aren't even a blockchain, you know, they are a pretty new application, um, DApp, and they are already up in the top GitHub daily development activity, um, com you know, competing with actual blockchains and ecosystems, Kusama, Polkadot, Cardano, you know, Bitcoin, Solana, those are blockchains. I mean, Alchemist Coin is just a DApp, you know. But is it just a DApp? I think it's more. A lot of people think it's more. And Dyer Zero X, this is one of the main um, developers for Mist, and he said, swap any token on Mist X, and the Mist price will increase as a byproduct. That's amazing news, you guys. I mean, and he tweeted this just recently, yesterday. Um, Danning.eth said, I just realized ETH is a fee on transfer token too. Given the gas fee, you need to leave in balance to transfer. And Dyer says, not for long. Big stuff is coming from Mist. But another token I do like, um, Raid Guild. Raid Guild is an awesome Ethereum XDAI based development team. They've created the Omni Bridge. I mean, the Omni Bridge is utilized throughout, not only in the XDAI ecosystem, it's used beyond within other ecosystems because it's such a good bridge. Um, Raid Guild is proposing a rebrand for XDAI, and I, I don't think that's a bad thing. Um, I think the XDAI um, brand 
Got a little tainted here, but um, a rebrand would be a good thing, in my opinion. Especially if Raid Guild has a big say in where that brand is going. Because Raid Guild is one of the best um, development teams out there. Hey, JM. Love you, brother. Depression has been hitting different this past year. Take all the time you need. Prayers for you and the others in the army. JM, I appreciate that, man. Um, yeah, it's, it's hard. It's hard. Kundalini yoga can help your depression tremendously. It's a lot of breath work and meditation that can help a lot. You are loved and supported. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. The Wim Hof Method helped me massively with anxiety and depression and release chronic pain. Sounds like a lot of baloney, but it works wonders. Cold therapy and breathing. Love you, bro. Love you too, guys. Oh, uh, yeah. It, it's hard. Um, it, yeah, it's been a big piece of my life. Um, nicotine and taking it out is throwing me for a big loop. Um I'm not used to not being in control of my brain. I'm pretty used to the content, being able to just put out content like whenever I want and not being able to put it out is killing me. Um, it sucks because uh, it's what I like to do. DJ Johnson, Tyler, love you, bro. Hang in there. We love the two portfolios videos you did last year. What are the top four to five coins you now hold and approximate allocations? Um, I don't know. Uh, that's a hard question for me to even think of right now, man. Um, I mean, I know my top holds, Energy Web. Um, I don't know percentage-wise right now. Um, Energy Web, Alchemist Coin is up there, Ethereum, Bitcoin, and um, Chainlink. Kalis Andujar, sorry to hear that, Chico. Get well for your family, which is more important. What would be the first sign after the last hurrah that the bear market is here? Um, I don't know. It's going to be hard to really know when the bear market is officially here. We could be in it. You know, the Wyckoff stuff I just showed, that could be a bunch of baloney. And we could be entering the years long, years long bear market right now. Um, it's hard to know. No one knows. If everyone, if people knew, they would be multi-millionaires. Thank you, Theo Blazer. I appreciate it, man. Um, Mr. Truth asked me, why am I depressed? Too much millions of USD in the pocket? Um, yeah, money isn't a big thing for me. Um, money is just money. Uh, depression? I don't know, man. I really don't know. It's, it's, since I've been about 21, 22, it started. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out, though. Knock, knock. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Um, it will pass. It will pass, you guys. So, um... I just want to go over, you know, the Wyckoff, you know, again, we are hovering at the sign of weakness. Um, this video went by him on complication. Give him a follow if you haven't. Um, he showed it April 25th that we are going to dip down and have a bounce around at 43,000. And it's happening, you guys. So I would put some weight into this. You know, of course, it's not hitting on his exact date. Uh, n nothing's going to hit on the exact date. But we are hitting the sign of weakness, 43,000. So if, is there going to be his phase E where we go down one more time? It's possible, but that will be in the 30 to 40K range. We will dip out and it will be down here. And people will think the markets are crashing. But if you look at back what happened in 2017... This was the Wyckoff distribution that happened back then. It was off to the races. No, I don't have COVID. I'm quitting smoking. <laughs> uh, 
What the heck is going on here? XRP equals an antidepressant. No, um, yeah, I don't know. I just need to get my brain. I mean, a lot of it has to do with the nicotine, you guys. I mean, my dopamine is down, and it's been a big piece of my life for a long time. So I'm going to try to get better, you guys. I just wanted to give you guys that update live stream with you guys for a little bit. Um, to let you guys know how I'm doing, and not doing the best, but I'm trying to get better for you guys. So, uh, hopefully here soon I can stop, start putting out good content again. Because I want to. <sighs> so, um, yeah, if you guys don't see me for a couple days, just know I'll, I'll be back. So, have a good one, guys. I'll see ya.